with every flush. The residents of Washington, D.C. are helping power all this. Everything that goes down the drain in the nation's capital ends up here at the city's Blue Plains Advanced Wastewater Treatment Plant. And the new system is turning all that waste into electricity. It's poop to power right here. George Hawkins is the CEO of DC Water. It is super clean compared to the alternatives and it reduces our carbon footprint. We have the largest single carbon footprint in Washington, D.C. The concept of converting wastewater into power isn't new, but D.C. officials say their setup is the largest of its kind and the first in North America to use a new space-saving system that also reduces the amount of biosolids that are hauled to a landfill after treatment. All of those benefits together is something that many cities around the country are looking at. San Francisco will be visiting us next week they're very seriously thinking about building this as is Hampton Roads in Virginia and others. The process begins inside this room. Water is extracted from the solid waste. Engineer Ryu Suzuki supervises the operation. So we thicken it up to about toothpaste consistency. The sludge is then pumped into a row of tanks that cook it at high heat. Microbes then break down the organic matter, producing methane gas, which powers these giant turbines, generating one third of DC water's power. The system is expected to reduce total costs by about $22 million a year, which in turn will help keep water bills down for D.C. residents. All told, the savings that we get each year in operating costs are more than it costs us to finance the project. The process produces another unexpected byproduct, garden soil. Unused solids are pressed into dry clumps. So it's a very clean product. The soil then travels down these conveyors into this holding room. They've already grown a test garden using the soil and soon hope to sell it at retail for a profit, bringing the waste from your home full circle. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.